MU School of Medicine researchers recruited healthy young adults and asked them for 10 days to slow down to a more sedentary lifestyle. Members of this group cut their 10,000 steps a day in half while adding six cans of sugary soda to their daily diet. What we saw after the 10 days is that there was less insulin mediated dilation. So the blood vessels were dilating less in response to insulin. That's not good news and something Dr. Manrique Acevedo hasn't seen before. Vascular insulin resistance occurring in such a short period of time. It's the first study to show men and women react differently to these changes. We saw that men were more impacted by the intervention, and we think that women were protected because of the estrogen effects. Premenopausal women are known to have better vascular responses. This research is a good example of precision medicine. Knowing what is different from vascular disease in men versus vascular disease in women can help us develop new interventions that are tailored to different patients or to different people. Dr. Manrique Acevedo and her colleagues work in the Roy Blunt Next Gen Precision Health Building at Mizzou, which anchors the statewide initiative to unite government and industry in pursuit of life-changing precision health advancements. From the University of Missouri, I'm Teresa Snow.